guys, welcome to my first toy review. Today we're gonna take a look at Super 7's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle First Wave Raphael. Let's take a look. Okay, so out of the uh, card box, it came with this half sleeve box design. And you can see the figure. So let's open it up. Okay, we got a lot of the packaging. Now let's take a look at the, all the accessories come with this figure. Let's take a look at this interchangeable head which have a more modern sculpt, more realistic sculpt of Raphael. Angry face, really cool. Me personally love this one better. And a lot of weapons. Have two size. As you can see, the sculpt is identical with the one come on the figure itself, but it's more realistic. Have this silverish paint job going on. Really cool two throwing stars and two of these I don't know what the name of this one and one his weapon and two of these turtle communicators one is closed one is open really detailed all the paint job is really good and also come with this slice of pizza it have really detailed paint job going on you can see the color variation on the pizza crust and also the dripping down mozzarella yeah. and finally come with three different kind of hands one is open palm hand you can see all the wrinkles the paint job on the nails they just nailed it and also a fist hand for holding this weapon I think and this hand first, I think it's identical on the figure itself, but they have bigger holes here in between fingers. That's for holding the weapon like this. You're holding the, see, really cool. I forgot to mention this one. It's like the original toy. They have this really cool. I think the sculpt, they're identical, but they just didn't paint it. Look at the figure itself. Let's do a 360 of the figure first. You can see the sculpt is really solid overall. All the different textures on the shell, the wrinkles around the skin, all the texture going on here, all the different, you know, the leather belt. Really solid sculpt. And also the the head sculpt is really looking like identical to the original toy but I have a minor issue with the paint job here going on you can see it have really big gap in between his teeth it looks funny like a bunny or something look a little bit overbite I think it's just the issue with the paint job the sculpt is solid so let's take a look at the articulation of this figure the head is on a double ball joint, I think. You can look down this far, look up this far, really far up. And also this shell is made of this soft rubber material, doesn't hinder the articulation. Really cool design. Also the the hand is on a hinge joint. You can see. And also we have a bicep swivel. We have a single elbow joint and a hinge on the hand. The hand is made out of the softer material. So that's as far as you can go. Um, they don't have any like wrist articulation here up on the wrist, but they just put it in the shell. You can turn his crotch left and right swivel and forward and backward you have ball joint inside of the shell I think the, all the, the articulation is not that good actually you can see you have a leg articulation and kick up kick to the side like this and up this far, back this far. Have a 
a single knee joint, knee band, have solid ankle rocker, and a swivel here, a hinge here. And overall, the articulation have enough articulation to posing around. Let's talk about the paint job on the figure. The paint job itself is decent. But you can see all the shading going on here, and also on the face. Might have a little scrap on the paint here, as you can see. If uh, it's airbrushed, darker color on the shell. It's a really cool silver paint here. The paint app is decent, I think. So let's do a quick size comparison. There he is with Hasbro's Deadpool. There he is with Hasbro's Hulk. Mexico's Hellboy. So my final thought about this figure, it's an okay figure, but I don't recommend you guys to buy it because all the cheap feel of the figure is really feeling cheap. I don't know why, but I'm a little bit disappointed by the quality of this figure. I'm so hyped when they said they're gonna do this retro looking figures but I don't know maybe you guys have your own thoughts so leave a comment below stay tuned I'll come up with more figure turtle figures maybe up next so uh, see you guys peace out